there's girls in tutus, there's a lot of pink, there's a lot of sparkles, and there's a lot of glitter. And being a male dancer, we have to be ultra strong and masculine. It's pretty demanding. Uh, we dance 10 to 5, Monday through Friday. I had a teacher tell me once, if you really want to be a dancer, you're going to have to remember you're always going to be sore and you're always going to be tired. Well, for men, usually our knees and our back will go first because back will go purely from lifting all the time and knees will go purely from jumping and turning and all this physical you know, pressure that's on your legs. I've gotten hurt a lot. I think every dancer can probably say that. Broken um, each of my fifth metatarsals two or three times, stress fractures in my hips, my uh, shins, thrown on my back, dislocated shoulder. Um, you know, it's just, just it, it, it just happens, you know, it's, it's part, of the, part of the deal. If you're able to do three pirouettes, then their next one is four. Then if you get four pirouettes, then the next one is five. You're always trying to rotate your legs more, get your legs higher, like, get all these ideals that are not actually physically possible for most people into your body, which is kind of not necessarily practical. Biggest stereotype, especially as a male ballet dancer, is that uh, I'm, I'm gay. And uh, um, it's, it's kind of just assumed by a lot of people, especially in, in the South. You have gay men, gay women, and everywhere, every shape, every form, any profession. Um, being in Alabama, with that said, there's still a lot of old school mentality. I feel like people need to be diverse and they need to be intelligent and, and educated with what's around them purely just so that their children can benefit from it when they grow up. Being in elementary school and middle school, being a, as a dancer was hard. People, people would call me really nasty names and I never got beat up or anything, but I certainly I was verbally abused a lot, um, but it didn't stop me from doing that what I, because I love it so much, um, yeah. Somebody's hitting a home run or somebody's running for a touchdown, they, you can be an ugly, as ugly as you want as long as the point gets on the board, whereas as opposed to ballet, you know, you have to, you have to do all this physically challenging stuff, but you have to make the audience feel like it's really easy and that they could do it, and then when they try it, they, they hurt themselves. <laughs> With football being everything, it's like they, you see that struggle, you always see that constant pull, that constant tear, the, the harshness of it, and that's not what our job is supposed to be. To make the dancer, it's gonna be very simple and blunt. Really, really, really know if this is what you wanna do. There's hundreds of dancers out there, good dancers, I'll add that much and there are so few jobs. Down here, it's, it's very nice that everybody is supportive, everybody watches each other and wants to push each other for the greater good of the company as opposed to just thinking about themselves and trying to further their own career. You have to be aware that you're not doing it for the money. Um, there's, not, there's no, unfortunately, there's no money in our business. All the accolades that you get from it are all very much internally. I feel like ballet is the basics to life. Because ballet is, is an unperfectible art um, that demands perfection. So it's, it's very easy to get uh, frustrated and down on yourself. I, I, I would compare it as a sport and an art in the same. Like if there was, a, if, if, there was if you could combine the two words and create like a spart, it's a spart. It's a sport art. <laughs> We're the hardest workers out there. We do everything we can to make ourselves better every day. And I don't know how many people in other professions can say they do the same. My name is John Mingle, and this is my first season in Alabama Ballet. My name is David Odenwalder, and I've been dancing for Alabama Ballet for six years. My name is Alexander Fork. I've been with the Alabama Ballet for uh, four seasons now. Uh, name is uh, Nukri Mamistilov. I have been dancing with uh, Alabama Ballet for six years now. And I'm 27 now, and actually this is going to be my last season as being a professional ballet dancer. I will be retiring after this season. 